Hey there, welcome back to the Thai teaching series. This is lesson number four, part three. And in today's lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the first two reading rules of the high class consonants. And before we jump into looking at the rules, uh, I got to introduce to you what the high class consonants are. Okay, so uh, there's 11 consonants in the high class, and um, we'll just go through these before we jump into uh, the rules. The first letter here is Ka Kai, Ka Kuat. Cha Ching, Ta Tan, Ta Tung, Pa Pung, Fa Fa, Sa Sa La, Sa Ru Si. This one here I forgot to teach in one of my uh, alphabet videos. So uh, the first part of this letter here is Sa, long rising tone, Sa. Second part, Su, also a long rising tone. Sa, su, okay, and the word su in Thai is tiger, all right, and then the last letter here is ha, he, okay, so 11 total, um, just encourage you to memorize these, maybe make flashcards, find a way that you can um, just get these into your, uh, into your mind in terms of just memorizing that these are the characters that make up the high class, um, because again, when we get into reading, these are things that you're going to need to know just as you come across various words. Um, so you're going to just want to memorize them so you don't have to look, look, look up the letters every time you want to read something. Okay? So that, and that, that takes time, though. So just want to encourage you to try to find a system that works for you to memorize these. Okay, so these are the 11 characters that make up the high-class consonants. Um, so now we'll just look at the first two rules for today. These are going to follow the same pattern. Um, again, different rules, but it's going to follow the same pattern as the middle-class consonants. So there are four rules. Again, we're going to follow that same pattern um, here as we look at the high class consonants. Okay, so let's look at the first rule here. This H obviously represents a high class consonant, so any of the 11 I just mentioned, plus a short vowel equals a low tone. And again, you can probably guess that this low tone is going to need to be short based on the length of the vowel here. Okay, short low tone. And actually, this, this first rule is consistent with, uh, it's, it's the same rule as the middle class consonants first rule. So you had the middle class, the short uh, vowel, and then a short low tone. So the first rule for the middle class and the first rule for this high class are the same. Tone is going to go the same direction, same length. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Um, now, not all rules do that, but these two match up. These two are the same. They overlap. Okay. So we have the, the letter ha hi. Okay. So that fits into our high class consonants. And then um, this vowel here is a short a ah sound. Okay. A. Ah. So when you have ha heap and ah together, it's going to make a short low, short low tone. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, ha. Just a quick low tone. Ha. Then the next one here we have sa su. Okay, the new letter I just taught you <laughs> that I forgot last time. That fits into our high class consonant category plus a short vowel. The short vowel for this uh, syllable is e. The short e sound. Okay. So when these two come together, we're going to get a short, low tone. And this, this syllable would be pronounced C. 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 Okay? You don't have to hold this one, just a quick E sound. C. C. Short, low tone. Okay? And then the last one, uh, this is the letter Pa Pung. Pa Pung. Okay? Pa Pung fits in the high class category. And then the short vowel is the U sound, the short U. U. So when pa pung and the short u come together, they make the sound pu. Okay, short low tone. Pu. Pu. Okay. Uh, pu uh, means decay. So when when you often hear in Thai fun pu. So the word fun in Thai means tooth or teeth. Fun pu. When these two words come together, it, mean, it means cavity. Okay. They have a cavity. Fun pu. Okay. Um, that that one's. Not too difficult, I don't think. Again, we just have two combinations there. High class consonant, short vowel, short low tone. Then number two, moving on to number two here. Any of the high class consonants, any of the 11, plus a long vowel, it's going to equal a rising tone. Again, it's got to be a long rising tone because of the long vowel. All right, let's look at our first example here. We have the letter ha he once again, but this time... Instead of a short ah sound, we have the long version, which is ah, ah. Okay, so when we put the word, uh, excuse me, the letter ha heap and a long ah together, 
it's going to make ha, okay, long rising, ha, ha, the word ha in Thai means to look for something. So, like you're looking for your phone, your ha, your phone, ha, tola sa, okay? Um, okay, you just got to hold that out a little bit, ha, dip down, ha, all right? Just got to give it a longer feel definitely than a short, short vowel. We'll just draw that out a little bit. Um, and now, I don't know if you noticed, but each of these letters actually, all of the first part, so ka, ka, cha, ta, ta, pa, fa, uh, fa, sa, 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 ha, they all follow this rule, the long, the long rising tone rule, because obviously they're in the high class um, category, and then all of them are followed by that, that first syllable of the, the name of the letters here are followed by the long ah sound, okay? So that would come under this rule of high class consonant and a long uh, long vowel, which is ah. So all of the first parts of all these letters make a long rising tone, okay? So that's where we get that from, in case, I'm not sure if you've noticed, if, if you noticed that or put that together, but that's, that's where that's coming from, okay? Long rising tone, we'll look at the second one here. We have the letter sa, su, okay, sa, su, with um, a long oo sound, oo, okay, hold that out, draw that out, high class plus a long vowel is going to be a long rising tone, su, su, make sure you dip it down, su, okay, su, good, all right, and then the last one for today here. High class consonant is ta tung, ta tung. That's the ta tung letter. Plus the long vowel, we have the a, ah, the long a. Ah. Just remember, this looks super similar to the a, but this one's doubled up. If it was just a single one there, it would be a. But since it's doubled up, it's a. Ah, okay, a ah, a, ah. like the a ah and cat. Um, so when these two come together, it's going to make a rising tone, but it's got to be long, right? Don't forget long rising tone based on the length of the vowel. So this is going to be ta, dip it down, ta, ta, all right, long rising tone. Pretty simple lesson. If you've been following with these, uh, these lessons now, it's, I think it's, this is probably pretty easy, especially based on what we learned about the middle class consonants. Again, following the same pattern, um, just obviously implementing different rules because of the different classes. So these are the... Uh, easier two of the four rules. In our next video, we're going to look at rules three and four for the high class consonants. Uh, and again, like our previous video, it's going to get a li little bit more complex. But since you've already gone through that with the uh, middle class consonants, I hope uh, it won't be too difficult next time. All right, so we'll see you in the next video.